Hello and welcome back. I've finally arrived at the fifth and final accommodation review that I'm going to be doing while I'm here in Benidorm. And it's this hotel behind me. It's the three-star Savy Group Hotel Orange. It seemed a little bit chaotic when I arrived at 12 o'clock. The receptionists were running around like chickens with no heads on. There are painters still painting the exterior walls of the hotel. I seen a florist delivering fresh flowers for the reception desk and they were still putting the sunbeds out around the pool. Apparently the hotel has been closed for the last three months and this is the first day of opening. So I think the run's slightly late. Anyhow, I'm checked in, I've got my room key and I'm on the first floor in room 121. Let's check out the hotel. So room one, two, one. Well, the hotel name is the Hotel Orange and everything is orange so if you don't like the color orange this hotel's not for you and i've just realized look what i'm wearing orange anyhow let's check the room apps again by the door you do have your key card slot without the card being in place you don't get any electricity in the room and that includes the power points then you have a very large built-in wardrobe Plenty of hangers, loads of storage space. On the other side, more storage space, some spare pillows, and some drawer space down below. And as I said, the room is orange. Your suitcase stand, Again, about a 39 inch TV. All these Savy Group rooms all seem standard and all look very similar. Again, an electronic safe, just put your four digits in and push close, put the four digits back in again and the safe will open. Little drawer space and then you do have your fridge. You have your writing desk and mirror and a single power point and the rest of the room double bed two bedside tables and two power points either side again the third savvy group hotel that i've been in no usb inputs at all either side of the bed or anywhere in the room as i said if you don't like the color orange you're gonna have nightmares in here I don't mind the colour orange. Quite a nice, spacious, clean room. Not sure if I've got a pool view. Oh, I have a partial pool view. Quite a large balcony, table and chairs. Here you go, a partial pool view. And now for the ensuite. Is that going to be orange? Now we have the pink tiles again. Oh, well, not fully. You've got your hairdryer. This time you've got a marble surround on the sink. We do have the pink tiles on the wall. Large mirror. Again, your hand soap. This time no B day, just a toilet. Let's check the toilet out. 
and of course the same walk-in shower. Exactly the same. We'll try and get a long shot of the bathroom. Let's check out the bed. Again, it's the same pillows with your zipped pillow protectors. You've got a blanket on this bed. And again, the mattress protector. Yes, that looks fine. So let's check out the rest of the hotel. At least the corridors aren't orange. Another thing I need to point out, in all the survey group hotels that I've been in so far, there is no tea or coffee making facility.
Good morning, I've just returned back from breakfast looking out the window and it's a beautiful blue sky with loads and loads of sun. But sadly, I've got to make my way back to the UK. But first of all, I'll give you my final review during my stay here in Benidorm of the Servi Group 3 Star Hotel Orange. I hope you like orange because the hotel is orange throughout. But it's not been a bad stay. In comparison to the other two Servi Group hotels that I've just reviewed, the Calypso and the Nerio, this one is more on a, or I'd say more on a smaller scale to the other two. Um, Staff-wise, the staff have been brilliant. I mean, they had a lot to cope with yesterday. I arrived just at 12 o'clock and the hotel had opened at 12 o'clock after it had been closed for three months. So they were welcoming guests yesterday for the very first time for this season. And as I got checked in, I was lucky because when I turned round, there must have been 50 people waiting to check in. So I was lucky to get checked in dead quick. But it seems to have settled right down now. Day two, everything seems to be running smooth. Um, the room itself, I was a bit wary about the shower yesterday. I thought, is everything going to be working? Is everything switched on? Is there going to be plenty of hot water? Fine. Lovely shower, not a problem with the water. Bed, a really good night's sleep. That, again, scared me last night when I realised where I was facing. I am directly, my balcony is directly facing Café Benidorm. Now, if anyone knows Café Benidorm, it's probably one of the most busiest and noisiest areas. It's the square where all the nightclubs are. And I thought, I am not going to get to sleep at all tonight. Because I like to sleep with the window open. So I had the balcony door open all night long. And I was very surprised. I hardly heard any noise at all. And it's a, it was a Friday night going into a Saturday morning. And no, hardly heard anything. Right, internet connection. This is the first one out of the three Servi Group hotels where I've got onto the internet instantly. Not a problem, straight on. Food, the food is very similar layout to the other two hotels. Obviously the same catering service, just a little bit, a little tweak here and there with a different dish, but very, very similar to the last two hotels. Um, Price-wise, oh, I'll do mobility first. Your mobility, again, same as the last two hotels. Uh, the mobility scooters are not allowed in the hotel. You can park them outside. And again, there's no charging points. TV, English channels. Again, I had a quick flick through. There are English channels. So the thing that you all need to know is the price. Now, it's now the beginning of March. And I booked this for a sole occupancy in a standard double room. And I forgot I booked this one full board. So it's breakfast, lunch and even a meal. And I paid for one person £74. Now for two people it's only £96. So that works out £48 per person full board. So again I'm going to hand this over to you. What do you think of the three star Hotel Orange? Have you stayed here before? What do you think of the location being right next to Café Benidorm? As I said, I hardly heard anything last night. Very surprised. Anyhow, time to move on. I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.